Well, there were a lot of hot topics at tonight's Tehachapi School Board meeting, including the search for a new superintendent and pay negotiations for teachers. But 23 ABC's Lauren Etlinger looks, into, looks harder into one issue that some feel got swept under the rug. And is working as quickly as possible to gather all the facts and further the investigation. The school board president is referring to a controversial case involving a maintenance worker at Tehachapi High School arrested last week on animal abuse charges after he was allegedly trapping stray cats in carbon dioxide filled boxes and suffocating them to death. It's sickening. Yeah, it's not something that you hear about every day. At tonight's meeting, the issue was brought up, then quickly halted as the board redirected questions to the investigators of the case. But that didn't stop one woman from speaking up. Someone gave in that order, and we don't know who gave in the order. Custodians do not go to work and say, this is what I'm going to do today. Eventually stepping away after a spirited debate. Thank you for your time. Susan Ormsby said she wasn't shocked by their reaction. This response tonight, that was, that was not a surprise to me. I just felt that the question needed to be answered. Some question whether there's a conflict of interest surrounding this case. The district superintendent, Lisa Gilbert, also happens to be married to the man in charge of the suspect arrested. And the investigation is being conducted by the Kern County superintendent's legal team. I think they need to find out who gave the order. And I think that person probably should have a greater share of consequences than the person who actually carried it out. Ormsby said she'll continue to stand her ground until this mystery gets solved. Somebody has to speak up. Somebody has to say, hey, this is not right. Lauren Ellinger, 23 ABC.